Oh, gotcha. So you wanted to make like I'm actually talking to. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. Um, John Wick. Yes. How long did it take the the last fighting scene? How many weeks have you been? Doing? Okay. The the last fight scene in John Wick took about four weeks, but it wasn't consecutive shooting. We started the fight scene, and then we had to go to a different scene. For example, I think we spent three or four days at Grand Central Station. So we had to stop the final fight scene. We went to Grand Central Station, shot there, then came back to the fight scene in the glass house, uh, worked a week or whatnot uh, there, and then broke and went to, uh, I think Keanu did the Times Square uh, uh, the scene. scene. Well, yeah, with the running and all that. So uh, over a course of a month, non-consecutive days, uh, we shot the finale fight scene. Yeah. You had to shave off all your hair. Yes, I shaved my hair. Well, you know, the thing is, um, Chad, Chad Stahelski, our director, wasn't sure that he wanted me to cut my hair. We, uh, it was actually the, the hairstylist and makeup and myself that proposed the idea because uh, I, I was offered the job one day before I left for New York. So the, the history is that on Sunday night, I received a text from Chad Stahelski, the director of John Wick, the John Wick movies, and um, it said, basically, to Costco's, call me tomorrow. <laughs> so Monday morning, I call, I call Chad Stahelski, hey, Chad, how you doing? Um, can I help you with something? He says, I hope so. I said, okay. He says, the original actor for, uh, for John Wick 3 is no longer there and Keanu and I would like to offer you the role. Of course, my heart jumped. I was honored and excited and absolutely said yes. In any case, that night, Monday night, I flew to New York. I arrived there Tuesday morning. Wednesday, I shaved my head. Now the thing was, why did I shave my head? The script, his name is Zero. And the first thing I thought was, Zero, zero anything gratuitous. Zero hair, zero clutter in the mind, zero extra body. So I lost weight, I shaved my head, and I tried to become, in my mind, zero. You know, hack away at the unessential. That's how I felt zero was. So I thought shaving the head would be good. We proposed the idea to to Chad, he said, you want to shave your head? I said, yes, sir. He goes, give me an hour. So he went off. He was working. Hour later, I go to him, Chad, may I shave my head? He said, hurry up and do it before I change my mind. So, so we did it. And uh, he, well, he had no choice. He, he, I, I suppose he could have put a, a wig on me if he didn't like it. But I think he liked it. So there it is. OK. So all the guys liked it. What did Julie, your really, really kind wife, say? <laughs> I mean, you made a decision and you got the comes back to both guys. Yes. She, she thought that for the character, it worked. Uh, I think she prefers, with, prefers me with a little something. But, you know, she wasn't, she wasn't so opposed to it. Now, uh, it's a little different for my, my kids. My, my eldest, Makoa, he likes the shaved head. The, uh, the middle guy, Capono, He's not so fond of the shaved head. And my daughter, she likes it because I look like a turtle. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Um, the incredible success of it. And yes. Keanu saying that was the blast working with you. And oh, you have this last you. sentence when you say it was an honor, even as the villain. Yes. Uh, how did that feel to be so embraced by this huge <sighs> world of John Wick? I mean, a lot of people regret that he died. So. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, it was overwhelming. And I have to say that the whole thing, the whole process, the movie, everything still feels like a dream. Because as I said, I, I didn't have five months or six months preparation. Uh, it was from one day to another, and I was part of the show. And then we filmed it, and it came out very fast. And it's only been maybe 
a year and a half, a little more than a year and a half since we, we've done it and premiered it. And I am still, to this day, thinking about what happened, you know? And Keanu is just lovely. Uh, I find that everything that we've heard about him in the past, you know, being humble and kind and giving and generous, all true. And I add to that inspirational. I mean, he worked harder than any other actor on the show, being every single day, and he still made it to rehearsals. He still came to fight rehearsals and gave it his all. And he was collaborative. He was open. He was open to, to trying things and, and really was so welcoming. I mean, he made me feel comfortable and gave me a space, uh, a safe space to work. So um, the whole experience was just like a dream come true. I'm a huge, I was a huge fan of John Wick before I became part of the movie. And playing that part was kind of actually very easy because the way that Zero feels about John Wick is Mark feeling about Keanu, you know? So that was, that was really easy. <laughs> One last question, quick answer. Yes. You shot a movie with your wife yes. and your daughter. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it and the second half of it? You have been living in Hamburg. What about doing such a movie with your family, bringing them all together to Germany? Because you can do German, and I know some of your kids speak German. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, after 23 or 24 years, my wife and I just recently worked together again, and it was great. And what made it even better was that we had our 12-year-old, she's now 13, uh, young daughter work with us. So the three of us did a movie, a zombie movie, and if I may say, a family zombie movie. So we we have we have some zombies, but a lot of heart. And we shot the film in Thailand. It's a different take on a zombie movie. I'm very proud of it. It's a slow burn. It doesn't have tons of action. It has some, but it has very interesting relationships. And I think my wife did great after not working as an actress for 20 years, she rocked it. And our little daughter schooled both of us. She was, she was amazing. It was, for me, it was like watching somebody give a master class in acting. She was so relaxed and she was hitting the scenes take after take. So I'm very happy about that. And in terms of working in Germany, I would love it, especially in Hamburg. Da bin ich aufgewachsen. I would love to come back to Hamburg and do a movie with my wife and daughter. I would love it. So maybe. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you. Aloha.